This morning, we are taking a look at a revolutionary new clinic that serves the 2S LGBTQ I almost said 2S plus, plus community. Uh, HQ Toronto is taking a holistic view of healthcare. It's opening its doors to care for both the sexual health and the mental health needs within the community. And joining us to explain the innovative approach is HQ's medical director, Dr. Kevin Woodward, and Dr. Tim Guimond, director of mental health. Great to have you both here. Great to have hey, you. Hey, thanks. So Tim, I'll start with you. Who is this clinic specifically for and who is it serving? So we serve men who have sex with men, gay, bisexual men, and all the trans and non-binary communities. And why did you feel the need to have this clinic was necessary? So these are, are groups of individuals who are really at high risk for HIV, STIs, but also suffer more mental health problems and, and substance use problems. And so having a clinic that just meets their needs is very important not always can people feel comfortable in the standard medical settings. Yeah, uh, Kevin, can you talk to us a little bit more about some of the unique challenges that members of the community face? Yeah, so I think a lot of people in the community have had that experience of going in to seek health care and worrying about discrimination. Is the doctor going to understand me? Do they have a reference for the community? And sometimes having to educate their physician on the, the tests and, and risks that they have. Um, and so when people come to HQ, they can recognize that they don't have to worry about that. So we, one of our taglines that we use, but it's actually true, is this is care by the community for the community. Yeah, you mentioned wait times, and we know they can be very stressful. You know, talk about mental health and, and others. Uh, when you're waiting on test results, traditionally patients can wait for a week or more. Your clinic does results in one day. How does that work? Yeah, so we have an on-site laboratory, so we're actually able to process tests like HIV, syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea in our lab and get results out to people within a day. Um, and traditionally in, in doctor's offices, you know, we, we kind of go by the no news is good news idea, which mm -hmm. is just because there's no way that we can actually call every patient. However, at HQ, we've got a system set up where we can send a secure email or a text message out. So the next day, someone will actually get a message with their results in them. You know, I can't imagine the relief that that brings for someone for their mental health. But Tim, the clinic provides mental health supports as well, which really goes hand in hand with sexual health. And you are the uh, mental health director. So what services are available? So we provide a whole range of things. We try to treat depression and anxiety because they're just very common. But also we heard from family doctors serving oh. our community and from the frontline workers and aid service organizations that trauma substance use problems, especially with methamphetamine, and problems of emotion dysregulation that made people impulsive were treatments they just couldn't get access to. And so we've put DBT and CPT, lots of three letter acronyms <laughs> for psychotherapies that really address the needs that our community specifically struggle with. You designed the space as well, I understand, really intentionally. You have a special ventilation system that allows Indigenous clients to smudge. Can you talk to me more about some of the intentionality around that? Yeah, we, we spent a lot of time just really thinking about the intersectionality. The, the community is broad and people come to, the, to us with lots of different cultural expectations and feelings and, and having been left out of healthcare. So we have built ventilation, as you said, so you can smudge in rooms. We have art and all the walls that are by artists in different parts of the community. So black artists, Asian artists, so that people see themselves represented both in the artwork, but also in all the staff. I mean, it takes a team to do this. And so we really have hired across a broad range of the community. When we see innovation like this, we know that it usually comes from a frustration or a deep need that's been either been experienced or expressed. Where did it come to for the two of you for HQ? So I think this is something that the community has been asking for for a really long time. Um, you know, and, and the planning for this has not been a year, it's been decades, and there's mm -hmm. been a lot of people in the community who really work towards it. And I think the need came from, from the whole group. So if you look at Toronto as a city, um, we're one of the few places that didn't have this sort of large center for, for our community and for people to come in. So everyone came together. There was a lot of people at the table for planning. Um, and so it's really been a team effort, as Tim said, amongst, amongst everyone within our community to make it happen. Yeah. And there are waiting lists of like two years sometimes for wow. some therapies. And so we just know the amount of suffering that and causes and the problems that come together. Like if your mental health isn't treated well, you don't feel very valuable. You probably don't take good care of your sexual health and your physical health. Yeah. And, and these are just important things for us to address sooner. Really proud that it's here in our city. Thanks for, to you both for coming in. Even though one of you isn't a morning person, I do appreciate you both coming <laughs> in early in the morning. Hey. hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.